How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're gonna be opening this right here, Silver Tempest, but not just any Silver Tempest, these are actually German booster packs. Um, something I've never done before on the channel, come to think of it, I've never actually opened German booster packs, so here we are. Maybe the German ones can actually give me some decent pulls, like compared to the to the English ones, because I, I had really, really bad luck with the English ones. Uh, let's see which way the code card is, there we go. And since we don't have that many, we'll be doing the card trick three to the front. Here's the energy. And let's go. So here is our furry soda girl. I'll be trying to translate all of these if I can remember. But any who's, any who's. Um, we have our Brakeson, of course. Fletchling, I think. We have a Chinchow, I want to say. No, no, not Chinchow. Forgotten the name of this one. We have a um, Phoebus. Got a Fennekin. Got a Spinarak. We've got a um, Reverse. Reverse Uncommon. Okay, and like, look at the centering of this one. What is going on here? Jesus. Okay, non holographic rare to start it off. But you know, that's fine. We still got a few packs to go through. I've also planned to do this for a few other languages. Uh, something that I have in mind currently is like a very, very specific uh, Portuguese set, or like a set in in uh, Portuguese. Something very special I have in mind. We'll see if if I can end up pulling through. But well, let's just open this one up, I suppose. With an Indeedy. Got a Swablu. Let's see. Oh, nice! We've got a Rockruff. Or as in German, Wuffels. A Reverse and an Armaldo. We're getting Silver Borders. Like as soon as, um, whatchamacallit? Violet and Scarlet, that's the name, that's the name of the set. Uh, releases in, in March. They are gonna get rid of the, of the Yellow Borders as I stumble stumble upon myself opening this. We have no energy in this one, just a V-Star marker. They're actually gonna get rid of of um, the yellow borders, which are kind of iconic, if you will. You know, they are kind of iconic, but there you go, another non-holographic. Silver Tempest at its best, you know, giving us Jack. As is usually the case with Silver Tempest. Really, really bad pull rates, at least from what I have opened. But, you know, there, there must be people opening, like, good stuff, actually. Because of all the, the Lugia V alternate arts that you see on the on the market. So people must be, must be opening good cards from this set. But I, like, this is Silver Tempest. is like, one of the worst sets I've ever opened next to Lost Origin. Admittedly, I've, I didn't open that much of Lost Origin. Oh, nice, we got a Reggie Lucky V. At least that's something. That is not Garbo. But yeah, so far, like, from the products I've opened from Silver Tempest, and I actually opened a lot of Silver Tempest, like, as compared to what I usually did. I opened, like, a few um, three-pack blisters. I opened an ETB and a booster box, which is something I normally wouldn't do. I normally would just open a, um, and the code card, of course, here we go, let's see, non-holographic. Here are the other ones. So far, we haven't pulled anything. So far, we haven't pulled anything. But that can quickly change, you know, one good pull, full art trainer. There is a, there is a lot of cool cards in here that I would love to pull, like, the friends in Gala, we have, of course, the full art trainers like this one, for Risoda Girl, we have Serena. There's a lot of cards that I would love to pull. Also, like the Rayquaza, like Trainer Gallery cards that are in here are super, super cool. The one that you can get, but nope, it's just a Milotic. Milotic non-holographic. Nothing there. Unfortunately. We have a few packs left. We'll see. Maybe, maybe one of the last packs will have something great. Just anything, really. There we go, here's the energy. I have so many energies anyways. A Meow Stick. Gym Trainer Curlia. Smeargle. Got a Lilith. And got a Chincho. That's the Chincho. There you go. We found the Chincho. Nice! Okay, we've got a full art trainer. Wrong kind of full art trainer, but this is cool. And we've got a hollow. 
Okay, we've got a Richter, or in English would be Judge. We've got a we've got a Judge card. Nice. We pulled a full out trainer. Now I'm happy. There we go. Our three pulled so far, discounting the the regular uh, what you call it. Discounting the holographic. There's the code card. I do believe the language doesn't matter for these code cards, like they work in any, any language. I have been wondering that myself, but I, I can confirm that they work in any language, doesn't matter which which pack they're from, which is cool. Got a Snow Runt, got a Sand Dial, Finnegan, got a Chromorant, no, not Chromorant. And we've got a Murkrow, and we've got a Golden, like Black and Gold Duraludon VMAX, nice, Trainer Gallery card. And a Frostlass. Okay. That's actually pretty nice. Like, a, a rocky start, but now the pulls are coming together. And we still have two booster packs left. Let's see what else we can get here. Duraludon VMAX. Like, black and gold Duraludon VMAX. That's really nice. Alright. Here you go. Code card. Let's put three to the front. Get rid of the darkness energy. And let's see what we can get in here. Altaria. And another sand dial. The cards would not stick to each other. Indeedy. Got a Beldum. Reverse. And we got the Lugia V alternate art in German! What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This can't be real! Holy moly! What the frick? That's insane! That's absolutely insane! Yo! Okay, I gotta get a sleeve. I have sleeves. Jesus. I'm so flabbergasted. Holy moly. From 10 random booster packs that I just picked up in my local card store. We've got the German Lugia V alternate art. Brother, do I even want to open this, I guess? Yo! <laughs> We've got the German Lugia. Jesus. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. What the frick, man? I'm so happy. I'm, I'm super happy. Okay. Code card, here you go. Put three to the front. Get rid of the leaf energy. And let's see. Let's see. We've got a lantern. We've got a Brian. We've got a Dartiri. We've got a Palim Palim. We've got a Barshwa. We've got a Finx. We've got a Spinarak, or Weberak, we've got an Unbekanntes Fossil, and we've got a Rainbow Kimono Trigger! We've got a Rainbow Furry Soda Girl, yo, dude, freaking German booster packs are crazy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We pulled the alternate art Lugia, and we pulled a Rainbow Rare Furry Soda Girl? Get, get some German booster packs right now, I'm telling you. Jeez. Yo, what a sick opening, dude. I'm really, really happy that I went to my local card store today. Check this one out. German Lugia V Alternate Art. It is off-centered, but, like, that's that's tradition, like, by now. Any alternate art that I pull on the channel is off-centered. But, you know, I don't even care. This is such a cool card. This is such a cool card. Yo... Okay, well that has been a very successful and very nice opening for me personally. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then tell me in the comments what you didn't like, what I should change. And other than that, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.